Hi everyone, I am Nathaniel Pokwas and I'm just doing this uh, small piece on, on what is happening uh, on the level of art in Berita and today I'm here with uh, Sane Petzer, if I pronounce this right. right. Yes, and he's the one doing the marketing of the BAM, so we're just going to find out what it is and what they do. So, Sane. Uh, cool, nice to see you. <laughs> Um, BAM. BAM is... BAM, BAM, BAM. <laughs> uh, BAM is really short for Barrydale Art Meander, and it's the open art studios um, experience that we have once a year, and it is centred around the two draw card events of the Magpie uh, Christmas Tree on December 16th, and the net for Pre puppet performances and the parade that we normally have here in the village. So, of course, we're having to reconfigure all of that because of COVID. But essentially, BAM has become like the marketing tool, the overall conceptual marketing tool for promoting the Christmas tree and the parade and the performance. But uh, this year, uh, uh, the stars of the show as well are the local artists in Barrydale who ordinarily sit tucked away in their little studios here in the village. And once a year, they get to open their studios and interact with the, pub with the public. And uh, it kind of grew about because people come in for the parade and for the Christmas installation, would always say to me, what do we do? You know, and I would, <laughs> I would always get really frustrated and say, well, you know, you should Google or, or just come and experience the village. But I think people are not like that. People like to have a map mm. and a, a, a bit of a prescription of, of what to do. So BAM's become something like that. It's a kind of overarching uh, marketing uh, tool that we use to bring people here. And the participation of, of, of artists in, in, in town? Uh, well, we've got about 20 creative spaces open this year, um, and they range from uh, artists working on their own, in their own small studios, either painting or doing ceramic work, or it's creative spaces like the Net for Pret performance, or it's the actual uh, showcasing of um, uh, you know, artistic structures like the magpie tree, for example, um, to, yeah, like we've got uh, three or four artists working together in one show space this mm. year. So it's something that's grown, and um, just in the last little while, I've been doing some uh, live stream interviews with uh, different artists here in the village, just interacting one-on-one -on -one with them, uh, getting to hear about, you know, like what they've been doing in the course of the year. Mm. Are they exhibiting something special for BAM? And many are, many have been working around um, their own individual themes and um, gearing up towards showing new work during the BAM period, the 16th to the 20th of December, yeah. And with, uh, with, 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 with COVID being, how can I say, the undertaker of most activities, <laughs> uh, is there a lot of challenges that you, that, that you are facing with, with the preparation? Of yeah, I th I, you know, ordinarily people have gotten used to coming here for BAM to see the magpie Christmas tree and picnic on the lawn and be part of a tree lighting ceremony and, you know, and then for us the next night to get together and parade through the town in mass and then get together at the school and hundreds of us all sit together and watch the performance. We've had to reconfigure all of that and, you know, for artists who are showing their work in their own individual galleries and their own studios. We're having to ask people, obviously, to be uh, physically distant and um, for where people need to be close to one another, say, in a building or in a studio, for people to mask up. And, you know, so we're having to, 
to, to worry about those kinds of things. And it's the same thing, you know, with the Net for Pred parade and performance. You know, there's, there's like a, a video stream version uh, that's being presented this year. And, you know, there's also an analog version. And I mean, uh, yeah, COVID's also brought us, COVID's also brought us new language. You know, we're talking about analog and virtual these days and how we incorporate the analog and the virtual um, in a sort of cohesive presentation for people to experience art um, in these kind of COVID times is, is a challenge, but it's possible. And I think that we can do it, yeah, and we can do it safely. So can you give us like a view on uh, who the artist uh who the artists are? Oh, yeah. I tell you, if I don't go through the whole list of artists, I would get into very serious <laughs> trouble here. Um, but just to sort of touch on their painters, um, people like Josie Trott and Shirley Maben and uh, um, Annie uh, van Meulen, who are painters, are exhibiting at the Villa Gallery in, Fran in Villiers Street. Uh, Joan Peters, who's one of our most well-known artists, one of our long-established artists here in the village, she's going to be showing some of her work from her gallery showroom space in uh, Hillier Street. And Helen Vaughan, who's a ceramicist artist, is going to be exhibiting some of her work. And then something very exciting that's happening is Graham Abbott's uh, mm. analog uh, photography festival, which starts on the 11th of uh, December and makes its way through BAM right up and through to the 19th of December and he's pulling together some cool names of people in the kind of photographic world and there there's a whole hearkening back to the analog and they'll be exploring wet plate um, photography and having some exhibitions in some of the older buildings here mm. in town so yeah, I think that there's a, a sort of vroom, vum, you know, of creativity in the village. And uh, I'd like to see uh, more. Um, but, you know, some people are not too keen to interact with members of the public this year. So we have to respect that. But I think we've got a good, uh, a good presentation cachet to share with people this year. Yeah, yeah and I, I just... I just pick it up and, 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 and this is for people that, 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 that don't understand it, uh, that BAM isn't something that is focusing on a specific type of art. No. It, 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 it. It's, it, BAM is about opening up the creative spaces in the village over a specific period of time. I mean, those people's profiles stay floating on BAM's platforms throughout the year and people can actually go and visit those artists during their own time and in their own steam. That's absolutely fine. But over this December period, we make a deliberate effort to open all the studios up between 10 and 4 in the day and it's an opportunity for members of the public to go directly into an artist's creative space and interact directly with them. And that's a completely different experience to what you have when you go into, say, a gallery where you might not necessarily interact with the artist, but maybe a gallerist mm. or a retail person selling art. This way, you get to speak to the artist directly. Mm. So I think that's the draw card, is people really want to see, you know, what is an artist's studio like? They want to smell the paint. They want to see the eyes of the artists mm. and get to know them and hear what inspires them, what materials they use to create. And so if people want information on how the BAM process is going to work... Uh Okay, well, okay, you can, we have a standalone website called barrydaleartmeander.com and you can find all sorts of information and closer to the time we'll be uploading a virtual map. So as a visitor to Barrydale, you can see where you can go from one studio to the next. It's kind of like an art safari. 
And uh, we've got platforms open on Instagram and Facebook under Barrydale Art Meander, and you can see some of our uh, profiles of our local artists on there, as well as some of our live stream interviews with some of our local creatives and makers. Okay, so what is the cover charge? The cover charge? There is no cover charge. All you have to do is get yourself to Barrydale and come and enjoy experiencing our artistic community.